what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh, we're gonna jump right into it as you can see we got two new projects normally I'm not one for four strokes high compression or anything made by Kawasaki in the terms of water sports but we have two STX 15 F's that fell into our lap that are both gonna need top end rebuilds we bought uh, we got these for a pretty good deal without the pair and the trailer the story was one of these had a new motor, that being the red one, as you can see uh, with the tape and it apart, that's not the case. This one had, uh, had low compression. When we got them home, we compression tested both of them. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. There's a million videos on how to compression test stuff, but that's normally the first thing I'd recommend on a ski. We should have done it before we got them, but they had dead batteries and for some reason the keys weren't working and it was such a good deal, we couldn't turn it down. So like I said, both of these skis have low compression. Um, this one, had the highest had about 110 these stock like i said they're high compression skis i have about 210 pounds of compression per cylinder we were anywhere from 25 at the lowest to up to a 110 at the highest that one i started diving into just to kind of learn these a little bit they're pretty simple they almost remind me a lot of the stunt bike motor it's just a little four cylinder motor uh, really a simple machine to work on Normally the surface manual on these tells you to take them out through the top, but I'm a two-stroke guy and I like taking the taking it apart down to the bottom and then uh, removing it from there. So what we're gonna do on this one is this is be the part one of this series. We will tear the top end off this. I'll give you guys an overhead view the entire time and kind of talk you through how to do it. Pretty simple. We're gonna take the valve cover off, take the drive train out, take the uh, or I mean take the valve train out, take the. Uh, head off and then take the jugs off and inspect our lower end. If everything looks good there, we'll take the block out. We already ordered a rebuild kit. That one already, the rebuild kit has come in and we've already started on it. Like I said, I'm learning on that one though. So I can kind of show you guys how to do it on this one. So what we're gonna do today, like I said, take the top end apart, that's it. We're gonna get down to the block. That's all I really wanna see right now. That tells us a lot, like you guys have seen on a lot of ski videos. If it's got low compression, Normally I take the individual jugs off if it's a two stroke, being a four stroke, we gotta take it all the way apart, but first thing to do is take a look at those pistons and the cylinder walls. So we're, that's exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna get right to it. So we're gonna jump into this. I'm gonna go throw you guys up there on the camera, and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so here it is. Our Kawasaki SDX-15F. We have two of them. As you can see over there, the garage is getting filled up, but. These are the fastest skis Yamaha made of, or Kawasaki made of the year. After this, they moved on to the Ultras. These are really cool skis with a lot of tech in them and a really cool high compression motor. Uh, normally things like this kind of scare me. I don't like diving into it. And also, as you can see, this has been an ocean ski its whole life. There's no sand filter on it either. So what I'm assuming happened is either sand or salt got in that intake and it wore down our rings because the cylinder walls on that one were actually about perfect. No pitting, real nice cross hatching. I mean, just what you'd expect from a nice ski. And we saw on that one as well, the, uh, if I could think here, the piston rods were also marked with Sharpie. So someone definitely rebuilt that at one time. It looked like that one had oil starved. This one doesn't have three quarts of oil in the bottom of it like that one did. So I'm guessing salt's the killer here or just lack of maintenance, but we'll take a look at how crusty that is. We'll get there, you on a B roll, get some glam shots of this guy and then uh, like I said let's start taking it apart I'm not going to talk you through everything this is pretty straightforward I'm gonna throw you guys above but what we'll start with is popping the valve cover bolts off taking all these lines off taking our intake out all our canisters and then I'll check back in but basically we're gonna go take this all off take the intake off take all that back there out we got to take the exhaust off and then we can pop the head off but yeah let's get some b-roll and then uh, we'll go from there
right guys as you see no more cams in there what we did is there's a bolt down here this guy loosen it to release tension on your timing chain boyo there once that's released and all that pop your cams out take the gradle off and you're good to go now that we got the cam cradle off all that back i'm gonna put the tensioner back in just so i don't lose that spring or rod and then i'm gonna work on taking the intake here off so we'll take the fuel rail off disconnect it there pop all those bolts off take that off and then we're gonna do the same with the exhaust disconnect it at the water box take the bolts out slide it back good to go so back to time lapse mode for you guys when you see me next uh we'll be ready to take the head off of it so yeah we're gonna do that guys got the intake off sorry about end of the video my phone ran out of uh, storage and we stopped recording so got that freed up got all the intake bolts off that just pops out once we disconnect the harness disconnected it here off the the boot and then just took the two bolts out of the top of that so we can move it back next what i'm going to do is disconnect that coupler down there take these top four bolts off then the three down here there's one under each under these hoses and then we can take the exhaust off out uh if you take the water box out you can just take these off and you have enough room that you can pry it and just kind of lift it back and out so that's what we're gonna do throw you guys back on the tripod take that off oh let me show you this too look at the oxidation on there and then look at the amount of sand that's in the intake this is definitely what killed this motor is just sand what sand will do is it'll get inside um your cylinders and it's it just it's like sandpaper it just the the rings pick it up and it just starts scraping a wall away until it can go through there sand just turns to glass and heat and it can only turn back to another basically like sand like composite so it's only going to get harder the more heat you apply to it so it's just going to scrape it away until it can fall out so all of this sand i mean even just a little bit of this will ruin your cylinder so yeah let's pop the exhaust off and we will go from there So quick update, got the exhaust off, took the coupler off that goes from this to, let me show you, this guy, you gotta take all these bolts out, this will come off. If you unstrap the water box and take the coupler off, you can just kind of pop the uh, manifold off the studs, slide it forward, separate the two because it is o-ringed on the inside, and then uh, it comes right out. But look at how much sand is in here. I've never seen anything like that. Like there's just sand in the whole exhaust side. This thing was just getting uh, mistreated. But yeah, we're gonna get it fixed. So what I'm gonna do now is pop the head off. Next, all we gotta do is, uh, so you take out all these head bolts and then there's two bolts down here, Allen's, I mean Torx, or no, actually they are Allen's. 
and then there's these two right here. And then, yeah, I'm gonna take those off, take the head bolts out, and we'll go from there. I don't know if you're gonna believe what I'm about to show you. This is a first for me. Look at how much salt and sand is in there. When I say it turns to little hard chunks that just eat away at your rings, look at that. So you can see here, there's not a little player gap that you can see already, but there's just sand everywhere. And I guarantee it just ate away at those rings. I'm surprised we got as low as compression with how much stuff's sitting in here. That is disgusting. Look how, like, the cylinder walls, though. Cross hatching's not too bad, no chunks, nothing I can see too bad right now. So I'm gonna take the rest of this apart, uh, slide the whole jug assembly off. This whole assembly comes right off now, and then there's just a base gasket underneath. So I'm gonna take that all apart, and we'll, uh, we'll see what the pistons look like. Part. I'm wanting some fluid soak in there. As you can see, those two don't really want to come out. The rings are pretty stuck in there. So I'm going to let them soak in hopes not to damage the cylinder boards at all. But as you can see, it is salty goop in there. The rings are all worn down. I bet some are broken, as you can see. Just goopy. Like I was saying, the cylinder walls, other than the salt, don't really look that bad. So I'm going to say this can be rebuilt with just our top end and gas gasket kit. So I'm gonna get that all done um, when that comes in tomorrow. But this is gonna conclude part one of the STX 15F rebuild. Top end removal, that's how you do it. Going back is actually the same way, you just gotta set timing. That's why we have to pull this motor out. We can set the front cylinder to top dead center and do it that way. But um, it's much easier if you just pull this all out. Actually, I don't even, it would be extremely difficult to do it with it in there. So. It's really just a couple more bolts to take this motor out. So next time we see you, we're going to take the rest of this out and start the rebuild. But thanks for tuning in to the teardown. Click that subscribe button for me. And as always, we'll see you next time. I'm going to need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun on safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two-tone spaceship. Blow a smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in as good as your 